Hey guys, Zuljin here. Welcome back to another episode of Dragon Quest Builders 2. Well, the tower's finished. It just so happens that there is a uh, monster attack going on right now. And normally I just kind of let them deal with it. Take the truth. But because this kind of speeds along process, I decided to help them out since I was kind of just waiting to start recording anyway, you know? So anyway, it looks like we can talk about the quest dialogue in the middle of this place too. Ah, Sultan, just the man I wanted to speak with. It seems the blueprint for our second tower is now complete. With these two structures and an encampment or an emplacement to hold the weapon itself, the Casable Cannon will finally be ready to fire. Of course, our latest building is lacking one finishing touch, the Orb of Magic. So that's all I gotta do is place it. All right. Yeah, y'all, you know what? Y'all go finish this guy. Y'all should have it. Y'all should have it set up. I'm gonna go place what I need to place and get this party started. That way we can, we can do something meaningful, you know? Okay, Orb of Magic. And we place it like so. And then the quest giver should be still on the battlefield. Well, the monsters are defeated now, thankfully. So, come on back in, dude. Come on back in. Spiffing, the Orb of Magic looks to be positioned correctly. And with that, the tower is complete. So, we shall have a legendary weapon under our command. I knew that His Majesty's Bloodline would provide some benefits. If what legends say about the Casable Cannon is true, it would allow anybody, be that a human or monster, to wield one of the most powerful weapons in history. Notice how he just said that human or monster. By the way, Zuljan, I saw you and His Majesty speaking in hushed tones a little earlier. What topic were you discussing that necessitated, that necessitated such secrecy? Is it only natural that a king should have his secrets in a position of much responsibility and doubtless much pressure too? But is there any truth so sensitive that a king must keep it from his own people? The people he pledged to shepherd through his life storm? I know not. Goddess be praised, the second tower is complete at last. You getting insecure there, buddy? I think he's getting insecure, y'all. All that remains is to rebuild the final tower and provide the energy to power it. We must combine the might of every man and woman in Moonbrook. Right you are. Come, my subjects. Raise your hands and offer it the strength. Okay. go now we got both towers operational so all that's left is to build a cannon and I'm sure there's gonna be a little quest associated with finding something that it needs the tower is positively brimming with energy huzzah we're one step closer to completing the chasm cannon I can't wait to give Atlas the taste of his own medicine all right indeed our final battle Fast approaches, soldier. Please do the honors and draw up the design for the main tower. Okay, last one to go. I'm really glad I didn't have to farm all the materials for this stuff. That would have been slightly monotonous, right? Slightly monotonous. Fine work, Zuljin. This blueprint looks like it will make for a sound and sturdy platform for our ultimate weapon. Once the emplacement is complete, the Casable Cannon itself will rest safely upon it, ready to blast anyone foolish enough to attack us. And then, by the goddess will, we'll be able to defeat the almighty Atlas himself. What say you now, Anessa? Now that the victory is within our grasp, do you still believe we are fated to fight forevermore? Remember, Warwick, that pride comes before a fall. I shall not speak of our chances of winning the peace until it is won. Honestly, Anessa. Gadzooks, now is not the time for such pointless to sophi <laughs> sophi sophistry. We have a casable cannon to construct. Moonbroke's time is almost at hand. With this weapon, we shall break free of our fate and end this accursed war once and for all. Raise the cheer, friends. Hip, hip, huzzah. <laughs> Zuljan, it seems we need another special item to complete the Casable Cannon, the Orb of Heroes. And yes, I do not wish to be the bearer of bad news, but I'm afraid the artifact rests in the heart of Hell itself. Retrieving it will be no easy feat. Hell itself, you say? I dare say Anessa and I 
alone shall not suffice this time. We need to muster a small army. Your Majesty, I believe it's time to uh, come to entrust Zul'jin with our newly built war banner. The soldiers of Moonbrook shall march under one flag. Indeed, Zul'jin, the banner is yours. May it serve you well in your quest to retrieve the Orb of Heroes. Bro, we gonna have an army now? <laughs> Alright. Without War Banner, you can lead our entire army uh, with you at the Vanguard. I know we cannot fail. Brandishing the banner is no different to wielding a weapon, but simply having it equipped is enough to rally our soldiers to your side. Should you swing the flag as you would a sword, it will inspire warriors around you, making them fight all the harder. Performing a spinning slice meanwhile will rally our army to your side. Or, if they sh should already prepare to gather around you, it will give them order to stand down. Ah, but what's the use of all this battering when you could just try it for yourself? Go on, Zul'jin. Equip the war banner and wield it at will. Uh, with the war banner, equip press, uh, okay. And then release the button, summon soldiers to your side. Repeat the process to disband them. Okay, so we just equip it. I wonder what the, uh... Does it have, like, an attack stat? Out of curiosity? Attack plus two. Wow, nice. And... There we go. And I can buff him just like that. That's that's the kind of interesting mechanic. Smashing display, Zul'jin. You swing that war banner like a seasoned standard bear. I had hoped Anessa would be the one to lead my army into battle, but I see now that you are far more worthy of that role. Now, with the full military might of Moonbroke at your back, you can fulfill His Majesty's request and lead a charge into the heart of hell itself. And I shall march on your side. At your side. So as long as we're together, we have nothing to fear. What? Is that? Malrod would want to come too? Can we not release him from the dungeon? Forgive me, but the seeds of distrust, once sown, are not so easily weeded out. His presence would only cause problems. Now is not the time, but it will be soon, I promise. Well then... Seems all your preparations are in order. It's time to reveal what I know about the Orb of Heroes and its whereabouts. Final pieces of the... in place for the puzzle for the Orb of Heroes. I know where you can find it. Alas, it is in the nearest thing to hell that is the Curse's world has. Randorak. Or, or Rindorak. Rindorak? All pain and suffering in this realm seems to seep from Rindorak. To gaze upon its wretched place to know the greatest depths of despair. The fate of our re world rests on your shoulders, brave Zul'jin. Lead my army unto dar into darkness <laughs> and bring back the light. Your Majesty, is it really wise to send our entire military force on this expedition? That, uh, what of the castle? Who will protect the people while the army are away? Vanessa, you just don't want us to win this war, do you? If we hope to ever see peace again, we must prevail in this mansion. And for that mission, and for that we need soldier, every soldier we've got. Gadzooks, when you put it like that, you leave me no choice. You have my sword. It may not be much to look at, but there's life in the old dog yet. Then it's decided, Zul'jin. Ready the war banner. Discover, uh, Zul'jin, lead the troops into Renderark and recover the orb of heroes. Destination added to the map, and it is. Where is it? Oh, it's right there. Huh. All that time, huh? <laughs> All that time. Okay, so, um, I'm guessing uh, the easiest way is just not to warp at all. It's just to go out. I have to head out east in the castle and then south. So that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, east of the castle. This is originally where all of the bad stuff was. <laughs> Remember when we first got to the scenario? That was the ship. 
with uh, one of the first uh, Horgon's heroes, little storylines, and it looks like there's a little slime telling us something here. Wibble wibble. <laughs> Hello, Goomans. What are you doing here? You're not planning to going in that cave, are you? It leads all the way down to a place called Rendark. Though most people just call it hell. It's so scared that it'll make your knees wibble and wobble. At least that's what I've heard. I wobble too oozly as it is, so I've never been there myself. But if you insist on going, I won't stand in your way. In fact, I might pray to Horgon that your deaths won't be too gruesome. <laughs> wow. Thanks for the kind words, bud. Thanks for the kind words. This tunnel should lead straight to Renderer. I have a bad feeling about this. The whole place reeks of monsters and vicious ones to boot. Indeed, we have your war banner equipped and ready. Zuljin must not take any chances. Alright. It says to equip the war banner. Let's do it. Um, I just did the, the swipe. I'm not summoning nothing. Well, I guess, uh, I guess we can't really summon more here. What we can do, though, is give these guys three power levels. Uh, that's what it says, at least, so... So, they should be powered up all the way. Yeah, look, they're all red now. Okay. That's gonna, that's gonna help. Does that power level go away? I wonder. Yeah, it sure does. So, I think I'd be better off actually keeping them powered up. Because they do a lot more damage than I can do. Kind of wild, huh? Finish him, guys. Alright. Alright. Well, that that's interesting, the way that works. Uh, let's go ahead and eat a sponge cake. And we'll go further in here. Looks like there's some unavoidable encounters. The way that it's kind of set up right now. Uh-huh. Wow. Okay. Now. Let's just get behind him and we're going to get some more dragon uh, meat from this. Dragon steak, dragon scales, all of the above. Okay. Okay, he's all the way powered up here. Let's go ahead and... Oh, no you don't. Ouch, maybe you do. Go ahead and uh, power it up here. And I can't, I can't summon anymore, huh? Dang it, Bobby. Well, this is gonna be interesting, y'all. This is gonna be interesting. What I should do is get a bed ready. And let's see. Warwick. Come on, dude. Ouch. Ouch. Alright. He's healing up now. Thank God I got medic orbs, man. Alright. Bruh. Oh, he's ready to fight again now. Alright, make sure they're all the way powered up. I'll go ahead and... Oh my gosh, that was close. Let's just heal all the way up, shall we? And we'll get our buddy. Come on, man. Come on. Ouch. If I ever get to him. If I ever get to the bed. Okay. You're all right. You're all right. Vanessa, you too now? Girl? I'm, I feel like I'm babysitting over here. Thank goodness I farm medical herbs for a while. All right, make sure he's on fire. All right. Now, maybe I could, maybe I could switch and do some damage here. Let's 
Let's focus, y'all. Focus. All right. Let's see. This dragon is almost dead. All right, I'm gonna use this thing. That should heal everybody. And I'll tell you what, let's grab him. Ouch! Ouch! All right, we gotta, we gotta kill at least one of them. Vanessa, hold him. Hold, hold him down. Hold him down. Wow. Dang it! I was, <laughs> I was trying to heal him as fast as I can. Oh, uh, you know what made this fight easier? <laughs> okay, let's try it again. So it turns out the fight works a lot better if you just focus on continually buffing everybody. That's what I'm doing. That's all I've been doing is I just go back and forth. I make sure my health is up here. And I just make sure everybody stays with the best buff they can stay with. And so far the damage is much, much better altogether. And we're down to just this guy. So it should go even faster now, to tell you the truth. defeated wow so this is the way to do it just use the flag i was trying to swap between but the buff doesn't last long enough to keep him at that kind of power level so the best dps you could get is just swinging the flag like crazy that was a fierce fight and we haven't even arrived in render yet well lucky to make it there and back in one piece is all that matters Zuljin? you seem distracted you're wondering what malroth is doing at the moment not much i imagine he's still locked in the dungeon after all Oh, mighty Maroth, master of destruction. Here we go, y'all. Oh, it's you again. What do you want this time? You thought the builder was your friend, but he has betrayed you. He has left you to rot in this dungeon. No, you're wrong. He, he just... Oh, mighty Maroth, do you still not see the truth? The builder is an agent of creation, and you are the master of destruction. There can be no harmony between you. How many times do I have to tell you? You've got the wrong guy. I'm not some master of destruction, okay? Then why is it you cannot build? Why did the mirror that reveals all things true form reflect naught but a void? Do not deny the truth. Free yourself from this torture. Destroy, O oh mighty Maroth. Destroy all around you and embrace your true existence. You are a god, and you may be a god again. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Get out of my head. Zuljin, Zuljin, are you alright? Oh. Pull yourself together, man. We're almost at Renderon. Man. It's, 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 it all feels like it's coming to a head here. They're gonna heal up slowly. I wonder if I should wait. Another fight. Some skeletons this time. This seemed... That seemed to go really, really fast because they were buffed. Yeah, here's some more. Man, I keep eating stuff by mistake. Huh. Get them, guys. You know, honestly, we could avoid this fight. It's not a a very it's not a particularly necessary fight it looks like i know they want us to fight all this stuff but i mean <laughs> except for experience we really aren't lacking uh we really aren't lacking strength we just defeated like three boss monsters at a time blast we've come to a dead end i'll just break it down 
Perhaps not. It seems the wall is made entirely of ice. You should be able to break through it easily, right, Zuljin? Yep. Yep. Easy. And? Hmm. Looks like the sky is clearing. Wow. Look at that rainbow, bruh. And, the, and the, the god rays coming up from the right? This place looks like paradise. Dang. This is Rendorg. It's not at all what I was expecting. This is a trick? An illusion? Something tells me there are monsters about. Let us continue onward, but be on your guard, everyone. A new destination has been added to the map. Wow, bro. Yeah, this isn't. This is. This doesn't look like hell to me. This looks pretty much like paradise. I'm just kind of keeping my eye out for uh, chest and stuff here, y'all. There looks like there might be uh, an orb over here. Is that? No. I thought that was a little uh, place to. Um... Oh, there's the orb. There's the orb. I wasn't even looking at my map. I was just... I saw the tower and I was like, ooh, shine. Okay. And now we get to talk to the Hammerhood in the uh, broken down temple. Hmm, are you humans? You seem a bit different to all the others around here. Isn't this place lovely? It's just like being in a dream, but I suppose that's the best thing about living in an illusion. An illusion? What in the world do you mean by that? What do you think this world was real, did you? It's all a dream, from the magical talking trees to the pubs made from solid gold. But it's all gone, uh, gone, gone soon. Illusions can't last forever, so this world will fade away to nothing. What are you saying? I'm saying that this place isn't real. It's a dream up by Almighty Hargon to try to trick the three scions of Erdrich. Oh, Hargon built it? But the scions... Look, if you want to know more, the castle at the back of the valley is your best bet. The place is a paradise for people who just want to sit back and enjoy the illusion. I haven't the foggiest what this all means, but perhaps we should go do as this creature says. I sense even more monsters in that direction, Zuljin. Let's investigate. That's weird, y'all. This is kind of bizarre. Kind of bizarre. Are these an illusion? Oh man, I can't even chop down bushes. Nope, these ain't an illusion. I need a few of these. <laughs> All right, looks like I continue around this little wall here. Oh, is that Atlas? <laughs> no, I don't think he's big enough to be Atlas, huh? This place is so pretty. Pity it all go away soon. Very sad, but I stay till end. We all stay as rule. It's how things must be. Hmm. That's the place that we need to go to. There's a bridge that leads us to there. Gatzooks looks at the size of his castle. It's pretty enormous. Certainly very impressive, but what in the world is it doing here? Well, there's only one way to find out. Forward. Look at this little guy. Huh, it's a chair! And of course, we got a comfy killer pillar head. I'm sure we're gonna get a recipe to accompany that. <laughs> wow. Little Easter eggs here and there. All right, there's another Cyclops. And what say you, bruh? Looks so lovely from far away. Can see all the lovely Rindark and all of lovely Middenhall Castle, too. 
If you want to know the truth, you must look closer. But if you do, it not look so lovely anymore. Mm -hmm. It's going to be pure hell when we get there. Pure hell. Um, yeah, we do have to go across this bridge here. Let doggy. I can stroke him. Arf, woof, woof. I mean, I know I can talk to all these people, but everyone, is this castle acting jolly peculiar? What in the world is wrong with them? They all have the same dull, vacant stare as though they're enraptured by some sort of vision. Our mission remains the same. We need to find the Orb of Heroes. Let us press on inside the castle and continue the search. Just out of curiosity. Good day to thee, I'm Morella, uh, Morella, entrusted now by the conduct of His Majesty's affairs in his former Chancellor's stead. It is my duty to brighten the throne room and to otherwise embrace the precious new era of peace. Would thou see me dance, verily? Tis a sight to behold, I promise thee. Thou shalt come to love me more than ever. Then that's the stuffy and overseer's Chancellor. What? Weird. Oh. Oh, welcome home. I had begun to fear that thy company had come to grief in an attempt to slay Horgon, about whom we were so mistaken. But thou art returned unharmed, verily. Tis further proof that such were needed of Horgon's boundless mercy. Yeah, as a brother did he greet me, and fully glad do I serve him. Pray forget the quest which I did entrust to thee. Twas folly to retreat thee to was folly 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 oh. hmm <laughs> uh -huh. god zooks they just disappeared <laughs> this is creepy man creepy i tell you Just as these puppets cease to exist soon, so too shall you. Is your destiny as it is ours. All things, be they illusions or be they lies, must come to an end. None can say when this annihilation will come. But one thing is for certain, there is no escape. The day of destruction approaches and none can escape it. I wonder if he's talking about Malroth's uh, reckoning, the awakening. What the dickens are you... Pat prattling on about fiend that speaks some sense allow me to explain it more simple terms this castle was created by almighty Hargon, and now it will be your grave gadzooks to arms everyone at long last the hated human shall fall except for you my most faithful disciple you have proven yourself one of us come take your rightful place at my side y'all yeah, knew it i freaking knew it I knew it! How could this be? <laughs> to fracture friendships, weaken the military, and ensure the construction of the Casp Cannon, that it might eventually fall into the monster's hands? That was my mission, and though I encountered many difficulties along the way, I have achieved my every aim. <laughs> I'm gonna split your face wide open, sucker! It was you this whole time? You were the spy among our ranks? But why, Warwick? Why would you betray us like this? You traitor! A traitor? Me? You are the ones who betrayed all I believed in. I am the only man of Moonbroke who holds true to the children of Horgon's teachings. Not like you fateless curs. <laughs> you have done well, Warwick. And just as you were promised, you shall be rewarded. Come, join us as a monster. Yes, finally, I've attained monsterhood. Thank you. Thank you. What a freak. Fly, my pretty. Tear these traitors limb from limb. Bathe in the blood of the Builder and his pathetic companions. Warwick and the Rector. The traitor and his... Oh, my gosh, bro. All right. Wait. Come get your buffs, guys. All right. Full on buffs. Full on buffs. Let's uh let's prepare the bed, shall we? Yeah, 
yeah, I can see that I'm still gonna need to do the flag thing, y'all. Still gonna need to do the flag thing. Just gotta make sure these guys are in full buff the whole time. And I gotta make sure that the Jerome gets out from behind the stupid post. Ouch. Ouch. Okay. He's full buff. Just keep dodging. Keep a dodging. Ouch. Wow. That kind of hurt. I ain't gonna lie. Okay, I gotta get back to buffing. And one more for Jerome. There we go. That's some pretty good damage. Anessa? Alright. She's good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Anessa, we need you up now. Alright. Perfect. Okay, let's buffer. There we go. And I'm asleep now. Ooh, not too long. Not ouch. Alright, we good now. Buff, buddy, buff. Beautiful. Too bad I can't summon anybody. But that'll have to work for now. Alright. We starting to tear him down, y'all. All of the ads. All of the ads are going away. Perfect. Beautiful. All right. Guess what? Revenge time. Revenge. Screw you, you treacherous son of a gun. Oh, that felt good. That felt really good. Phew, I thought they had us for a moment there. But somehow we pulled through. Warwick, Warwick. This world, this lie, it cannot last. It matters not who wins this accursed war. We'll all die, every one of us. What lie are you talking about, Warwick? One day, I realized this is all an illusion. I tried to speak to His Majesty. I pleaded with him, but he refused to listen. This is... When the rector came to me, he said that he would save me from death, if I could earn it. When Zul'jin arrived and rang that bell, I saw then my chance to come, my opportunity to prove myself worthy. The children of Horgon are absolute, and so is my belief. I would die to protect their teachings. Well, you did. I know you, Anessa. You never believed. You spoke with heartfelt convictions and scarred duties. Oh, sacred duties. But it was all a lie. I have failed, and so shall you. No human can stand against Almighty Atlas. Struggle if you wish. You will all perish in the end. <laughs> yeah, get out of here. Get out of here. Hmm. Look, Zul'jin, the Rector still breathes, and it looks like he is carrying something. Well fought, humans. It seems I underestimated you. But no matter, Doomsday draws near. This world of illusion shall soon cease to be. If only I could have destroyed you by my own hand before that day came to pass. Still it would seem that victory shall yet be ours. Pathetic humans, were you truly fool enough to rally your whole army behind this builder? It seems you weren't, so your castle is practically undefended. You may be an illusion, but you shall all be slain nonetheless. I cannot fathom it. What in the world happened here? Is this castle just an illusion? Are we 
Gatsuks, Zuljin. What he dropped, could it be? That's the stone that we needed. Or the orb. The orb of heroes. Alright. It seems our expedition was a success. But at what cost, the Rector's final words are about the castle's defenses. Do not sit well with me one bit. Forgive me, I was a million miles away. The Rector spoke of Moonbrook's defenses. What does not bode well at all? We must return to the castle without delay. And... We will next episode, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed this one. If you did, give me some dap on that like button to show you support. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Zildjian signing off, and we'll see you next time. Break it down.